This is how I learned to move one eye on its own. It all started when this video popped out in my recommended, and obviously I thought, what a useless and creepy skill. I wanna try it. By practicing intuitively, I couldn't do much. I simply kept crossing my eyes in weird ways. Human eyes are designed to work in synergy to give us something called binocular vision. So, if you have two eyes, when you look at an item, every eye looks at this item from a slightly different angle, and therefore it registers a slightly different image. These two images are sent to the brain to be processed, and in a fraction of a second, our brain creates a three-dimensional image. This is what gives us a better ability to perceive length, width, and distance between objects. So, to trick my brain and move my eyes independently, I follow the tips in this video. The first step is learning to go cross-sided while looking straight in front of you. You can help yourself by bringing your finger right in front of your face, and you'll notice that when you remove the finger, your eyes will automatically move to the normal condition. You need to practice controlling the eye movement, slowing down the motion of the eye, with the goal of keeping the eye crossed even without the finger in front of you. Now, when you go cross-sided while looking at an item, you'll notice the image splitting into two separate blurs images, one to the right and one to the left. The trick here is trying to look at only one of the two images. And as soon as I started practicing, I realized that this is a pretty easy step. Did I just do it? After going cross-eyed, I focused on following the image on the right. And after watching my footage, I realized that my right eye could immediately move independently. At first, I was still moving the other eye a little bit. But after a few minutes of practice, I got better. And I've been able to move the right eye without basically moving the left one. I don't even need this anymore. After five minutes of practice, I can already do this without looking at something specifically. Like, is it working? <laughs> This is so useless. Another way to achieve this trick is to bring your finger or a pen close to your face until your eyes cross, and then move the object to the left or to the right. But there was a problem. I watched the video once again and I realized that Steve was moving a single eye while the other was staying perfectly in the center. Instead, I was doing the opposite, crossing both eyes and moving only one eye to the other direction. Unfortunately, I couldn't find much on Google about it. But then I realized that there is another way to see a double image of an item without crossing your eyes. This technique consists in altering the focus of your eyes. To try that, you need to bring your finger a few inches away from your eyes, focus on your finger and then slowly move it away, holding your focus as long as you can. By opening my eyes a lot and practicing for a while, I've been able to hold the focus for 15-20 seconds straight. When you're looking at something and you bring your eyes out of focus, you'll be able to see a double image like in the cross-side situation. So at this point, I tried to repeat the same process as before, following just one of the two images, but this time while keeping my right eye in the center while crossing the left one. And in the beginning, I couldn't do much. I simply kept getting dizzy for a few seconds and moving both my eyes. And by keep trying over and over the situation wasn't getting better at all. But then I tried a different approach. I was trying really hard to keep the right eye in the center while simultaneously moving the left one. Instead, I tried to relax my eyes as much as I could and I realized that this way it was way easier to keep everything out of focus. I started practicing once again and immediately felt that I was doing better. Even if my right eye was still moving a little bit, at this point it was all about practice to get more control over the movement of my eyes. I'm really not sure if I'm doing it right now <laughs> and after about two hours of practice i got it but honestly i still have to get used to the idea that this is actually possible then i also tried with my right eye and with pleasure i realized that the trick with this one was working even better <laughs> compared to the previous skills i learned on this channel this one can be considered useless and pretty creepy so give it a try more than 70 percent of you are not subscribed so subscribe it's free. And follow me on Instagram, I post updates on the skills I'm learning. I'll see you next week.